what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here we're going to be talking about founders day in this video here today this will be a spoiler free review for founders day as well i'll say as spoiler free as i can help it uh this film is directed by eric bloomquist who co-wrote the screenplay along with his brother i believe and it is revolving around a small town that is shaken up by a series of ominous killings in the days leading up to a heated mayoral, mayoral election it stars Naomi Grace, Devin Druid, William Russ, Amy Hargreaves, Catherine Curtin, and several others that I don't care to get into. So this film, Founders Day, <laughs> I got to keep this review as short as I can because Founders Day is definitely a January dump horror film. Picture Scream, but made by folks at Disney Channel or one of these other rinky dink networks that could only hope to achieve what Wes and Kevin cooked up in the 90s. This type of trash is precisely why so many people outside of folks like myself and outside of film Twitter and all those other diehard film spaces. This type of trash is exactly why so many people did not care when Hollywood was on strike last year. They were celebrating. Founders Day has no interesting message to share ahead of this year's election and is a chore to sit through thanks to its poor direction and utterly atrocious screenplay. Don't come for the scares because there are absolutely zero if you do not count the tired jump occurrences, but stay for a nice laugh at how horrendous this actually gets if you're just down to laugh for an hour and 40 something minutes. Allison and Adam are our only likable characters and even they are barely interesting or worth investing in as protagonists. They've both lost someone special to them and that's about all we get on why we should give a damn about them. Oh, one is in a failing relationship due to a pending move to Raleigh and the other was cheated on by another bland character. Then you have these two kids who, whose only highlight is a pedo joke during detention and that's all you get for those two. Oh, and they have sex in the teacher's classroom or whatever. Anyway, that element of loss for Allison and Adam barely strikes a nerve because the person they lost wasn't presented in the most attractive light, which makes it difficult to latch on to Adam and Allison's heartache. Writing decisions toward the third act don't make it any easier either. Outside of the paper thin protagonist, their parents who make up the supporting cast are no better. Gladwell and Faulkner, who are the two competing in this election, are forgettable, and I don't think the film even made mention of what their goals were if they were elected, or I could have just gotten distracted at one point. Any attempt this screenplay has or makes to build suspense is just loud noises that become annoying the more they occur. I will say a bleacher sequence was the closest thing to really establishing a feeling of suspense or dread, but Founders Day is severely lacking in the terror department otherwise. Kills are typical and uneventful, but one did seem like a nod to Paris Hilton in House of Wax. I can't be the only one who thought this upon seeing the movie. If you know, you know. There's a twist in the end that does not land the way that it probably was intended. If you're someone like me who found the opening sequence very sus and unconvincing, after the opening, Founders Day never really picked up the momentum it barely had during the opening sequence. Founders Day never builds up a list of believable suspects to consider for a movie that's supposed to be a whodunit, which definitely would have added some sort of intrigue or suspense. If I can get invested in a potential list of suspects to constantly be examining each time they're on screen, that would have made the movie a little bit more engaging. Sadly, you don't get that here with Founders Day. You just get awkward exchange after awkward exchange between characters. We talk about this concern over chat GPT these days. But without the obvious credits you get for most film and TV releases, I wouldn't be shocked if someone told me this dialogue was churned out by ChatGPT. I'd even argue the screenplay becomes too ambitious during the third act, making the events that have unfolded laughable and far-fetched. I don't want this review to be any longer than it needs to be, so let's just go into the acting. Because poor direction tends to lead to what? Awful acting, which Founders Day has plenty of. From the parents fake crying over their children's death to other cringy bits of line delivery. No performance warrants a reason to care about anything on your screen. This is just for jokes, but the performances were fitting if you were trying to imitate the acting in Jeepers Creepers 4. You pass with flying colors there. To be fair, William Russ and Devin drew it from 13 Reasons Why. Uh, and I think William is actually from Boy Meets World. Correct me if I'm wrong. I think that's Corey's father. Might be a mistake. It's been a while since I watched it. Um, 
those two didn't make me want to cringe every other second and gave the best performances out of the cast what's a real shame is i actually did enjoy or dug the killer costume but that's about the only aspect that made the killer remotely intimidating this slasher looked more menacing than John Carver, but wasn't able to truly terrify me at any point while watching this the way Carver did in Thanksgiving. So I guess you could say the killer had no real screen presence. Kind of was just there and then gone, of course, when the kills were done. Granted, Thanksgiving also does not feature a character running away from Carver while delivering dialogue that undersells the situation they are in. So when your characters and their terror feel forced or they're unconvincing then your viewer won't be scared at all so again it lends itself to that poor direction and that poor acting the director probably wasn't intentionally trying to make this movie so hilarious but founders day really can't help itself and neither can you when you're enduring several moments of overacting that are intended to be serious but just come off comical it's bad when a parent mourning the death of her daughter makes me chuckle film the film moves very slowly the pacing isn't great i was definitely feeling the runtime and this was less than two hours the two candidates argue for way too long in one instance during the end and the interruption is the most crowd-pleasing moment founders day has to offer didn't dig the soundtrack the cinematography was pretty blah all in all founders day is not a movie that i would recommend you go watch I think this is actually being released in theater. Some people actually check this out at Regal Mystery Monday. Sorry you had to endure that. This somehow was worse than Five Nights at Freddy's, somehow worse than The Exorcist Believer, somehow worse than The Nun 2 from last year. What a terrible way to kick off horror. If you're me, a horror fan, and this is your first horror watch of the year, granted I do have nights from the night, but this is being pre-recorded. Um, I would give this movie a three out of ten let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notification there is a video in the description i'll have links to all my social media accounts i am on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course let me know any movies news or reviews you like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video